Hey there, champ. Guess what today is? It's vlogging day 872. 872. All right, rendering. I'm not gonna be able to upload it before I get back to Paris, but at least I can have it rendered and ready to upload. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it provided more answers than questions. Because it's one that I've been avoiding making for a long time, but I feel like it's, I gotta figure out how to get that dialogue going. Anyways, I gotta, I gotta, I'm no closer to Paris than when I started this morning, like literally, so 10 hours of flying ahead and then jet lag city. My Game of Thrones downloads corrupted, so uh, thankfully I have a good book, thanks to Kathy. Thank you, Kathy, for that book, by the way. I'm really excited to start reading that, because, I mean, we'll see what they have for movies, but it looks like it's going to be a very reading-friendly flight, at least until I start to lose my ability to, you know, concentrate. <laughs> I've only been awake for, I mean, not even 24 hours, really. I've been awake for like 20 hours, something like that. It's not a big deal. I just gotta figure out how to, haha, exit. That's the main thing. Find the metro, get back in town, maybe go get myself some coffee, try to stay awake, maybe even go for a run, whatever I gotta do. You know, and then the sleepy, sleepy, cozy cloud time. Whew, can't wait. Consciousness is difficult. Actually, I'm being mildly dramatic. Consciousness is not that hard right now. It's just, it's kind of like that pressure. But otherwise, fine. I'm gonna be good for about, I'm gonna guess five more hours, and then I'm gonna start to struggle. So we'll see if coffee can fix up. I lucked out and got on the uh, got the express train, which is the best because instead of taking like 40 minutes to get into town, it's only gonna take us maybe 20. Which means coffee is a realistic expectation. I mean it never wasn't, but it just feels like it's that much closer. Five hours might have been a little bit generous. We might make it two. Whew, we'll find out. I mean I'm gonna make it till like 10 o'clock tonight, but coffee and lunch might help a lot actually. It's weird when you've been awake for, you know, 20 however many hours, and you've eaten like four meals basically in the course of that time. It's not, there's something weird about that. You're not sleeping, but you don't stop eating and drinking. We'll get reset. Anyways, there's nothing particularly special or unique or different about this experience with jet lag. It's just the one I'm experiencing right now. I forgot it's not Tuesday anymore. That's a betrayal. I will go get a Clark dog and then head home, I guess. All right, well, I 
have to just to come home. I need to upload my vlog first. I'm not, not, I'm hungry. I know I'm hungry, but I'm not, you know, dying for food yet. So I, I'm going to upload yesterday's vlog, which still feels like today's vlog. And then I've got to edit today's vlog, which feels like a second vlog for today. This is confusing. Doing two vlogs in one consciousness this is a little bit much vlogging. I do have some good news though. The poinsettia is struggling, but is still alive. Definitely needs water. I, uh, Forgot to give it to my neighbor before I left, or somebody to, who responsible to. I'm gonna water it really quickly. Gotta take care of your plants. Hopefully that's enough and it's not in like dire straits. It is definitely starting to get a little bit dry. Anyways, I better get to the actual finishing yesterday's vlog and uploading it portion. Yeah. Here's hoping lunch can save me. Whew. I also missed the opportunity yesterday to use a very specific song that was in my arsenal that I completely forgot was there. Talk about missed opportunities. in there. Thought I'd go for a walk. Ended up here. Kind of want to go down along the river for a bit because I know there are a couple space invaders down there but I don't know that I'll make it. The other part of me just wants to sit and uh, veg on the couch but that's also dangerous because you know sleep might just happen to attack in the midst of that. I don't know. I was reflecting on just how fortunate I am to just live in the time period that I live in. I mean uh, antibiotics aside the fact that I can just up and hop on a flight, jump over to the United States, jump back, like go see my family. There are people that, you know, a few hundred years ago, they sailed with their coffins because they figured they were never coming back. The fact that I don't have to hop on a wagon or a steam powered locomotive or a Titanic, thankfully, and then I can just bounce on over there and bounce back. Very fortunate. Really glad that I got to spend the time with my family. It was really, really nice to see my parents, my sister, my grandma, my cousins, my aunt, my uncle. Everybody, it was really, really good, and I'm really glad that I got to do it. And uh, yeah, Grandma, I hope you took the time to read all the happy birthday comments that people left you. I I went through all of them myself. There are a lot of people that wish you happy birthday, so I hope you saw that. And uh, yeah, thanks to everybody who wished my grandma happy birthday. Thanks for hanging out with us. It was a really good time. I'm really glad that I got to go do that. The tall van is about to ruin my shot of the Eiffel Tower. Oh no, good. Thankfully, only momentarily. Anyways, uh, yeah. Back to figuring out what I'm doing from here. Yeah, I couldn't resist a walk down by the river. I mean, come on. How could I? Weather is nice. It's actually fairly warm, at least compared to Washington. I think I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna take a few more shots of, uh, you know, stuff around the river. A few more time lapses, I don't know. And then I'm gonna walk back. There is a space invader over here that I'm really hoping I can find, but um, either way, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last. And then it will be time for bed. Not soon enough, but soon enough. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for hopefully a uh, unjet lagged, fairly well rested, wonderful, beautiful, lovely, maybe even still slightly warm day in Paris. Until then, whew, good night. Oh.